We are here today at the Armstrong Flooring Installation School to demonstrate cutting natural creations with Diamond 10 technology. In today's demonstration, we will be using three different blades. We have a standard utility blade, a German concave hook blade, and a titanium coated utility blade. Our first cut will be with a fresh, standard utility blade. Notice how cleanly the tile snapped apart. The edges of the pieces are straight and clean. Our next cut is made with a German concave hook blade. Notice how cleanly and effortlessly the pieces snap apart. The edges of the pieces are straight and clean. Our next cut is made with a titanium coated utility blade. Notice how cleanly and effortlessly the tiles snap apart. The edges of the pieces are straight and clean. A standard utility blade cuts the material, but may wear out sooner than the other blade options. As the blade wears, the blade edges start to round. It will become harder to score the piece, and even harder to snap it. Notice how the edges of the piece are jagged, and that the rigid wear layer has fragmented and shattered. It is even more challenging to cut and snap when making long cuts with a worn blade. Natural creations with Diamond 10 technology can also be cut using a tile cutter. We recommend using a magna shear cutter to provide the cleanest cuts. For intricate or non-linear cuts around pipes, door casings, toilets, or any curved cut, the best method is to take a standard heat gun and heat the product from the back. Never heat the product from the face. When you are cutting off a small piece of the product, score with your knife. Use a pair of pliers or tile nippers to grip the piece and snap off. The installation of natural creations with Diamond 10 technology is no different than installing any other LVT product. Using the blades and cutting techniques demonstrated in this video will help provide a quick and easy installation process.